Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Chelsea. Today we've got a special treat for you. It's bread muffins. <gasps> Thanks to one of our viewer suggestions, my cousin Glenn. We are making these just for you today. They're bran muffins with dates in them. Don't they look divine? I'm really excited to eat them. Stay tuned to see how we made them. Thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh, don't those bran muffins look delicious? It has been so long since I've had a good bran muffin and it's probably been since before my grandmother's passed away and since before I inherited this book that I've had a really good bran muffin. So um, thank you to my cousin Glenn for recommending that I do a bran muffin recipe because it's bringing back a lot of memories and I'm really excited to try them. Um, so we have milk, we have bran, we have molasses, egg. I'm gonna use dates in mine. You can use raisins or dates or omit that part completely if you don't like either of those things. But some more milk. We've got some baking soda and we've got our handy dandy trusty master mix. Um, again, I am doing lactose-free milk and lactose-free butter. You can't tell the difference. Tastes great, works the same, but you get to avoid the lactose if that's a problem for you. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to mix the bran and the milk. Okay, and we're just gonna let that mix up together and um, yeah. Milk and bran together. There we go. And give that a little mix in. Might have been better to do it the other way into the bowl, but I need the bowl for something else. And I only have so many, so much room here. So there we go. Oh, that soaked up that milk very quickly. Mm -hmm. I know that some recipes use bran cereal. Um, this one, it just calls for natural bran. So that's what I'm using. Um, again, trying to stick with the recipes as they are written. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit there for a moment. And then I'm going to put the baking soda in with the master mix. Mix that up a little bit. Again, my master mix has been sitting out a little while, so it is at room temperature. Not too hot, not too cold. It's good temperature. Then we're gonna put the other measure of milk. One egg. Oops. Again, it, if you're worried that you might get shells in it, you can crack it into something else first. I'm pretty sure there's no shells in there. It's gonna be fine. And then I've got molasses. Oh my gosh. I love molasses so much. I'm so happy to be doing a recipe with molasses. It's delicious. I've got my oven preheating because as you know, this toaster oven needs a bit of time to get ready. I just want to lick the spatula. I love molasses so much. Mm. But I'm not going to. Okay. Put it in there. I'm gonna whisk that up a bit together. Super easy, quick recipe, this one. Like all of them, I really find that once you've got the master mix uh, ready to go in your fridge, you can whip up recipes super fast, super easy, and it's so much better for you than buying a pre-mix box from the store. You know what's in it. You know what, what you're putting, what you're feeding to your family, okay? And you can alter it a bit if you want to use different flour, different butter. So we've got the molasses, the egg, and the second portion of milk mixed together here. We're gonna put that into the master mix. There we go. If you don't have the master mix ready, you'll wanna head back and watch my very first video um, to see how to get that together. But by now you should probably have that ready, right? Okay, we're gonna mix this all up together. I'm gonna do it by hand today. Usually I use my um, hand mixer but I'm gonna use my hand. <laughs> Here we go. So if you're not using your hand mixer or your stand mixer, it should be about two minutes by hand or a minute with the electrical mixer. Here we are, it's been about two minutes. I've been mixing it by hand. I did it with a whisk for a bit and then finished it off with a spatula. Nice and smooth, mixed in. It smells so good. It really reminds me of um, 
licorice flavored ice cream, which is my favorite. Now I really want ice cream, but that's besides the point. We're not making ice cream, we're making bran muffins. So we have this, the bran and milk that is all mixed together here. I'm gonna stir that in. Boy, there we go. Right, okay, and then we're also going to mix in the dates that I've chopped up. Again, if you don't have dates, you can use raisins or whatever you like to put in your bran muffins the dates, it's gonna be extra fibery. <gasps> yummy, yummy. <laughs> that is a nice looking batter. Yum. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so next step is to prepare the muffin tin. Um, if you've got uh, the paper liners, even better. I don't happen to have those today. So I've got some butter and I'm just gonna grease the inside of the muffin tins. Okay, got a little bit of oven paper and a little bit of butter here. Just gonna smush that around. Never go wrong with more butter. As you know, it's my favorite ingredient. Oh, and a nice warm bran muffin with a little bit of butter melted into it. So this recipe says that it should make 16 to 18 muffins. We'll see how we go here. I've got a 12. Got room for 12, so they might be a little bit bigger. Did they have muffin pans that had 16 to 18 spots in them in the 80s? Why would you make a recipe that had 16 to 18 muffins? I'm going to put a little bit of flour just to make sure. We really don't want this to stick. So. this in. Again, we're going for deliciousness, not perfection. Just going to go around and put a little bit in and then I'll go by and top them off. Okay. So yeah, there's a little bit, I don't think this would have, this wouldn't have made 16 to 18 medium muffins. Maybe the muffin tins were smaller in the 80s because this is just perfect for 12. They'll be nice and fluffy muffins. What's your go-to kind of muffin? What's your family favorite? Do you like bran muffins? What do you like to put in them? Let me know what kind of muffins are your favorites. And remember that the full recipe will be in the description for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see here, a little bit more in this guy. And just clean up the pans a little bit so we don't get too much burnt batter outside the actual muffins themselves. Oops. Okay, they're not the most even. That's okay. I don't have laser eyes and I'm not weighing them to make sure that they're perfect. We're at home. They just need to taste good. Oven should be preheated to about 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. Should be in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, as you know. My toaster oven is going to be a little bit longer than that, but oh, look at these. So excited. I'll let you know when they're done. Oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, look at these bran muffins. They are so good and I'm so ready to eat them. I took them on a little bit a few minutes ago. They've cooled down enough that I'm not going to burn my mouth. I've got my butter ready, of course. I'm going to take the little guy here because he's looking a little lonely. But look at that. They come out perfectly. Oh, look at that color. They're nice, moist, beautiful color. 
<laughs> Taste testing time. Hey everyone, as you can see, I already dove in. I already tried them. They are amazing, these bran muffins. Um, they're moist, they're, the taste is great. Um, I like the dates. Um, I usually have them with raisins. I thought I would switch it up with dates today. Really great addition. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend them. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe below. We'll see you next week.